Lads, how are you doing today? Good man. Good yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations on the movie. Cheers. Um, I had a fantastic time uh, watching it. But first things first, what is your favourite heist movie of all time? Um, what's yours, boy? I think probably most influential would be Dog Day Afternoon. Most enjoyable that I could watch over and over is probably The Sting. Nice. The Sting. Yeah. I just. I remember the my mum put that more. on when I was, I was watching some crap on TV. I think I was watching TJ Hooker. Do you remember that? I do, yeah, with uh, William Shatner. Yeah. yeah, and she was like, I oh, must have been nine or ten. She's like, you're not watching that. Watch like, she was like, thing. if you want to watch something, watch this. And honestly, it was a, like a that's class. That was a life changing. Yeah, that was, and I've, that would be one of my desert island movies. You know, fantastic. Yeah, Sorry. the same, the Sting. Then you yeah, the Sting as well. Yeah, yeah. Are you going for the Sting? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um... Have you even fucking seen it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, easy. It. It. <laughs> <laughs> the answer's already out there. It's just easier. Uh, Barry, what uh, brought you to to the, to this role? Because um, it's uh, it's you know it's quite different to everything we've seen you do before. Yeah, I mean Bart. You know, not only because it's just sitting here, but uh, seeing the imposter is. You know, I've seen it about 10, 20 times now, and it's a movie I show other people, you know, mm. if they've not seen it. I'm like, have you seen it? And they're like, no, I'm like, yes! Do you know, like, my girlfriend and all, I, I, I show her, like, and, and, and I'm mother and that. Um, so Bart, like, was the, the attraction for me, and, you know, I reached out, and I heard that they, they wanted young, kind of, Hollywood stars to play. So I was like, ah, that's me done then. Ah, well. Do you know, I can't, <laughs> but I fought for it. You know, Bart fought for me as well. Yeah, well, that was the opposite. We, I did, I mean, I think there were people with money in the film who wanted the young Hollywood stars and those kind of pretty boys that, you, you know, and, uh, right. and I wanted uh, really authentic, you know, just the best You need, like, basically, you know, it's a nice word for, like, you know, not the best looking nice word dude, for ugly. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> unique, you know, you're just, you're unique, you know? Oh, that's You're different, that's not you, stand, nice. you stand out from, uh, from everyone else. <laughs> Was there, a, was there a role in particular of, of Barry's that you saw, you're like, well, I have to get him on board now? Uh, not so much. I mean, I was aware of, I was aware of him and, I, and he sent an audition tape in. You know, now there's a lot of self-tapes which mm. actors do. And, they say, and I saw it and it was, like, immediately it was way more exciting than than any of the, and at this point it's getting a lot, and it just completely stood out. You know, his uh, American accent was flawless, and, uh, but I was concerned because he looked so young. <laughs> I mean, he looked like 16, and these guys are in their 20s, and, and I'd already was in the process of casting Evan Peters as, as, as the other kind of lead, sure. um, and Evan's like, 30 and mm. Barry's 25 but looks yeah so I was like how's that gonna win so I kind of put it aside and kept looking and then just couldn't kept coming back Kyogen and I was effect. like how's this the Kyogen <laughs> effect how's it? so then we brought them together brought Evan from LA brought Barry from Dublin I came from London we met in New York and did a like a chemistry test and yeah uh, and I was like yes yeah we worked. Barry got us to walk around New York as well before the audition like you know and I didn't know him. I knew of Evan and who he was, but like I didn't know him, so <clears throat> it was nice to, you know, then go into the room and have a bit of bit of banter. Your character in in this, he he uh, he plays <coughs> an artist, and he kind of not complains, but he like he he's concerned that specific <coughs> um, artists maybe don't be taken seriously unless they have some kind of tragic backstory, unless like. You, you, uh, any kind of artist won't be taken yeah. seriously unless they have that's it, you know, yeah. dramatic thing behind them. Is that something that still figures with actors today? Because you know, there's certain actors who people take more seriously yeah. if they know they've had that's it troubles getting there. Do you know, I, for me, definitely shaped me as as not only an actor but who I am, my experience in um, in everything. <clears throat> but that's not to say that I'm I'm glad I went through that and whatever. But it's definitely something I can use, you know, as a, as a tool, as an actor to go into a movie and, you know, and have a, have a emotion attached to the, you know, to the character, to the scene and, you know, I use that, you yeah. know, and, and so yeah, it's definitely helped me. So I can see where, where Spencer was coming from, that he needed that crisis, you know, like, you know, something bad to happen, like, and, you know, he's, he's looking at Van Gogh and he's looking at all these people, like, 
And he's like, oh, what do I have? You know, I might have a nice, a nice gaff and all this, like, but I don't have that thing I can, I can draw upon. So, mm. yeah. And Bart, when it, this film, the characters in it, they, they obviously are referencing films an awful lot, mm. and they're hoping for their, their real lives to be more cinematic. Mm. Uh, but when it comes to uh, say anything bad happening, people will always go, oh, well, people are vi more violent these days because of movies and because of video games and stuff like that. Do you, do you, is there like a line you have to draw when you're making a film like this where you're thinking this kind of film is actually saying, yes, cinema is strongly influencing people when they're doing stuff like this? Yeah, I mean, I think it was always the intention that we, uh, you know, that the movie kind of mirrors their uh, descent into the fantasy of of the kind of the planning of the robbery you know it was like you know one of them said to me in a letter one of the real guys said you know he said it was like our version of fight club mm. you know it was like this secret that we had no one else knew about it and it it kind of set us apart from everyone else made us different from so i think they were in love with the fantasy more than the thinking this is something we're really going to do so in a way, what, what I wanted to do was, you know, almost make the audience complicit in that, you know, that we want to know what happens. How far are they going to allow this, this bad idea about planning this robbery to go? And then, and so we sort of like, we, we, we want them to do it on our behalf. We want them to do this thing that we would never do, cross this line that should never be crossed, so that we can also know what, what it looks like on the other side of it. And then what happens is, I think the film demonstrates very sort of, I guess, viscerally and, and almost brutally the reality of crossing that line, yeah. you know, that it's not like it, Ocean's Eleven. It's, not cool. it's this very <laughs> awkward, messed up, violent, you know, and, and that I guess so, so there is both kind of refer, re, paying reference to the glamour of, you know, let's plan the perfect robbery and, and then also portraying the reality of what happens if you if you do cross that line and and that's not glamorous and last thing i want to congratulate you on behalf of all of ireland thanks, on, on why thank you because that is huge thanks, and I, was, I was only reading uh, everyone involved in it on the way over that's uh, every aspect of it was like Ugh. yeah <laughs> diane lane and you know that's, that's melina is the uh, is that director melina she, yeah melina is cool like she's so when do you kick off on that and what details can you um do? i kick off on that now in august so yeah next month so i have to start prepping i have to read the, the graphic novels because i never read them so i mean that's the first one it's quite good is it yeah, yeah. that's fun fun homework to do isn't it like you know oh yeah the graphic novels so <laughs> well congratulations thanks, to you man. both and uh, you. we look forward to seeing why and we look forward to seeing whatever we go to the next part and thank you man yeah a great time with american animals great real cheers, pleasure guys. cheers i don't want you waking up years from now wondering <laughs> what could have happened and who you could have been are you sure you're okay? Come on! Oh, sh this is my life. This isn't some game. Can you please not touch the model?